Welcome back, diecast fans, to another episode of Jim's Magnificent Miniature Motor Cars, and welcome to the unboxing of the second model that I spent much of the last quarter of 2021 hunting down. It's the Bugatti Veyron. Okay, this is the car that reignited the Bugatti legend back in 2003. Prior to that, it had just been something that car aficionados were fond of. But this was the car that put Bugatti back on the map and made it synonymous with both luxury and extreme speed. In fact, check out this scene from the very popular movie Black Panther, if you don't believe me. And let me tell you, this was a pretty difficult car to find. I mean, it was available in some stores for a premium, but I knew that this is this car not being a Japan exclusive car, that I could eventually find it at regular prices. And my patience finally paid off yesterday when I found this at the price I was hoping to get it for. So without any further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Kind of worked out a system here to deal with Tomica's super tough plastic. But really, I still get nervous every time because in wrecking plastic, I often wonder if I'm gonna damage the box underneath. Fortunately, that has yet to happen. But it always pays to be careful, folks. Always remember that. Okay, and we're that much closer to the treasure we seek. Uh -huh. And here we go. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's a beauty, can I tell you? Again, we have the Tomica Premium, what I have. My hands are trembling here, so excited am I. But again, here we have some of the limitations of Tomica Premium. No side mirrors, that's fine. So we have this very nice engine detail. We have these lovely tan interiors. And we have the overall shape of this car. It's not a pretty car in the traditional sense, is it? I mean, I've seen models of this before made by my one-time favorite manufacturer, Auto Art, you know, and, and and of course you know that I have, you know, from past videos you know that I have the Devo, and the uh, Bugatti Vision Gran Turismo, both of which take their visual cues from this. But I never really found the Veyron to be a beautiful car in the traditional sense. That said, it is such a striking model, and the Tomica Premium captures it. I mean, sure, it doesn't capture it with. Uh, absolutely exact detail like something like mini gt would but again let's remember this is a whole price bracket lower okay so how do i rate this well you know what like i said like i said tomica premium basically shackles itself with its format you know it it, it they basically you know don't ever have uh side mirrors they don't ever have rubber tires and they, they've just given themselves a hard time in replicating the finer detail but that said this still gets a 9.5 it still doesn't quite have that oomph that it push it to the very top but it's one of the nicer it's one of the nicer Tomica premium models that I've seen and it makes me just as happy as the McLaren F1 did to have it. I'm really glad to have this in my collection. And yeah, well, it's been a great start to 2022 in terms of Tomica Premium models. And I'm hoping to find even more and unbox them right here for you guys. And thanks for watching. Well, you guys know the drill and you know you want to. 
give this video a like and for those of you who haven't please give me a subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell